Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crowley. I'm back with another How to Draw video. Today I am going to be uh, borrowing an idea from a fellow YouTuber, a, a great artist by the name of Scott Christian Sava, who recently did a video called The Difference Between a Scribble, a Doodle, a Sketch, and a Painting. And I thought that was a really interesting topic, and I hope he doesn't mind that I'm going to sort of riff on that and uh, do a video that uh, covers similar territory but gives you my point of view. Let's go ahead and get into the first one. Over here, you see i got four squares. This first one, we're going to be doing a doodle. Now, before I get into the doodle itself, I thought it might be helpful to actually show you some drawings that I did uh, back when I was in college, or rather doodles, I should say, because to me, this is what I think of when I think of the word doodle. A doodle, to me, is really a very simplistic little drawing that looks as if you never intended anyone to see it, almost, right? I think of doodles as... Uh, little drawings that you do almost like while, while you're in the middle of a phone call or something, or you're in a meeting and there's nothing to do and you're bored and you just start doing silly little drawings. That, to me, is uh, the sort of defining trait of a doodle. Let's go ahead and get into me doing one right here over the course of the video. All right, so my idea is to do uh, the same subject, but drawn uh, in these four different styles. And the first one, a bit of a challenge for me, really, to do a doodle uh, live uh, in a video, because, like I said, these things, as I see them, are not really meant for uh, other people to see. I almost have to imagine that nobody's looking at me, and I'm just sort of drawing to kill time. And so you can see me really, I'm not erasing anything. I'm not uh, putting down any guidelines to begin with. I'm just throwing down anything I want for a drawing of a strawberry. And it honestly, to me, this is what a doodle is. Now, Scott began his video by talking about the difference between a scribble and a doodle. And I have to kind of sidestep that because I'm not even sure what a scribble... You know, I think of scribbles as what, you know, uh, a three-year-old with a crayon starts scribbling. And uh, to me, that is where there's all, you know, all these circular lines that don't really amount to a drawing at all. But, um, you know, the key with this whole subject matter is that everyone has their own impressions of what these words mean. And you can't really uh, nail it all down. I'm adding a little bit of tone. You know, I don't know if I would even do that with a doodle normally. Uh, and I'm kind of, you know, want to stop myself from going too far in the direction of uh, adding detail to this. I thought just for fun, I might add some uh, letters to this because, again, when I'm doodling, I find myself starting to almost turn it into a cartoon of some kind. That's my instinct when it's doodle time is, uh, again, keeping it light and fun and uh, not for, almost not for public consumption is my idea. So let's say it's a straw airy and let's spell airy as a I R Y. This is the kind of thing that I would do while talking on the phone or whatever uh, to kill time. And that's it. That's my doodle of a strawberry. How long did it take me? I don't know. Two minutes, maybe. Um, Scott really got into his definition of time, how much time one devotes to each one of these categories. I don't really view it so much that way. I'm more concerned with the look of the final product. And uh, you just saw me sort of tighten up a line there. You might do that with a doodle as you continue talking on the phone or whatever. Uh, you start going over lines and stuff like that. Um, but beyond that, you know, if I get too much into shading and doing stuff like that, it, to me it starts to cease to be a uh, doodle and maybe start to get into the realm of a sketch, which is going to be our next category. Let's move on and show what is my, you know, when I do a sketch of a strawberry, what does that look like? So again, let's look at something I did back in college. This, to me, is the hallmark of a sketch because the lines are sketchy lines. You know, when we, when we talk about sketchy line work, we're thinking of lines that are sort of tossed down with a certain amount of speed. Here, uh, to show a pen and ink example, 
is uh, from a sketchbook that I had in Japan. Um, while I was waiting for a train, I did this sketch, I would call, that's a sketch of a train. It's not um, fully detailed. Uh, the line work, here's one that has really sketchy lines to it. And I, to me, this is, I think, I would say, there you go. That's a sketch to me. Uh, and part of the reason that this topic is interesting is because in the age of the Internet, I think we're starting to see people apply the word doodle and sketch to things that look much, much more polished than this. And to me, that's a little troubling because for the beginning artist... If they're like, oh, they see some really beautiful drawing and the person refers to it as a sketch, then they think, boy, every time I do a sketch, it better look like that or I can't be a professional artist. Well, people from my age group <laughs> are a little frustrated, I suspect, by uh, people throwing around the word sketch for things that are, I mean, like I suppose that could still be considered a sketch because the line, it's starting to get tightened up though. And that's where you're going to see me get to this category of what's the difference between a sketch and a drawing. Uh, again, all of this personal uh, opinion. But let's go ahead and get into me doing a sketch of a strawberry. Okay, so I'm going to jump in here and you're going to see me really kind of almost forcing myself to keep the lines, you know, to keep putting the lines down in a quick way. Because to me, this is what, it when you talk about a sketch, you can see it in the line work, uh, as I said, sketchy lines. Um, it's, it's, there's something, to me, the difference between a doodle and a sketch really comes down to this quality of the lines. Um, and, uh, you know, there's probably a, a, a spectrum between these two extremes here. Uh, I've done this with just almost one line at a time without any preparatory line work at all and say, okay, that's a doodle. Whereas this, you said, almost every line that I'm putting down right now looks like a preparatory line. Uh, and the key is to not keep refining it past the point of sketchiness. Um, and so to me, even like when putting down the seeds and stuff, I better sort of dash these in real quickly. I got to keep my pencil moving or else, in you know, according to my feeling about what a sketch is, I'm starting to move away from a sketch and more into the realm of a drawing if I slow down and start tightening things up. So you see me really kind of forcing myself. Now this, look at this sort of, um, you know, shading here that's done with a bunch of uh, diagonal lines. To me, that makes me think of a sketch. Uh, that uh, you al allow those lines to show in a way, when you're doing a sketch. Whereas uh, when I'm doing a drawing, I may try to blend and blend and keep adding uh, color and so forth, or shading until you don't see the individual lines anymore. Um, I want to take a moment to say thank you to um, uh, one of my followers on Twitter uh, by the name of Tavona or Tavana, uh, who uh, was the one who showed me Scott's video. And, as, and uh, if not for her, I don't think I would have had this idea. So thanks to, to Vanna and also to Scott, as I said, for kind of setting this one in motion for me. It is interesting, you know, like as I said, Scott's approach was to say, hey, this is, it's, uh, a lot of it is about how much time is devoted. And he, he sort of laid down these, to my mind, surprisingly specific, you know, this is like a doodle takes five minutes and then a scribble takes three minutes or, you know, I don't, I'm kind of exaggerating there, but he, he had in his mind a very clear idea um, of how much time was needed for each one. To me, I hesitate to say how much time is involved more to what, what do the lines look like in the final product? You know, you can see me sort of dashing it in here trying to almost force myself to go quickly uh, so that it still qualifies as a sketch to me. You know, I, I might start to get a little bit of shading here and um, modeling, you know, to, to make this look a little more three-dimensional. Um, but I'm already starting to feel like you could just stop right now and say, there you go, there's a sketch of a strawberry. It has that sketchy look to it. And certainly, maybe just for the purposes of this video, I may just 
stop. I feel like it's almost <laughs> too undercooked in a way for me to say it's, you know, there you go, there's my sketch of a strawberry. But you guys get the idea. And again, the key thing is that I think we got to take with a grain of salt these people on the internet who said, oh, here's a sketch I did this morning. Uh, and they'll show something, well, here, I'll, I'll pull an example from my own work of the type of thing that I've seen people on the internet referring to as sketches or doodles. Okay, so here I'll show you two or three things that I've created that I would never in a million years call a sketch or a doodle, but I've seen comparable work referred to as sketches uh, and doodles uh, on the internet. So there you go. That's, uh, I mean, this is where I start to get a little hot under the collar when I see people um, tossing around the word sketch for things that have that level of polish. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm going to have to actually move on to this next one and tell you, hey, I'm not going to be able to do this real time. This next one's going to be all time lapse because for me, a drawing takes a little more time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start my. Uh, stopwatch here and then we're going to find out how much time uh, did it take me to do this version of the strawberry that I'm going to call a drawing. Uh, I can predict right now that I will put at least 10 minutes, uh, I'm thinking quite a bit more than that, uh, into this uh, drawing of a strawberry because I really want to show the difference between a drawing versus a sketch in terms of what the final line work looks like, but I sort of, I, I, I get a little troubled with the um, focus on time, you know, when people say, here's this drawing I did, and it took me 30 minutes. And I look at it, and I'm like, really? They did that in 30 minutes? I find that a little hard to believe. And I sort of wonder sometimes if people are not making themselves look a, just that little bit more awesome by putting down super short time, uh, you know, <laughs> claims uh, in regard to uh, what looks more like a polished drawing or illustration to me. Who knows? I don't want to, you know, point fingers and accuse people of lying, but uh, the, the main thing to me is that I want aspiring artists to feel that uh, you don't have to be able to draw super, super fast. Uh, it's the, the final product is really the most important thing, and um, having worrying that oh I draw too slowly I feel you know hey yeah, cut yourself some slack and don't worry about that so much. So you see me uh, beginning right now in quite a different way to lay down some initial tone. To me this is maybe more the hallmark of a uh, a more polished drawing or even illustration that I'm going to try to have the line work less visible. And uh, as I said, this really is going to have to be one that I do all in time lapse. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm keeping the stopwatch running. I'm going to complete the rest of this drawing. Uh, and then I'll come back. And when I honestly feel that it has become a drawing of a strawberry rather than a um, sketch, I will stop that stopwatch and we'll find out how much time did it really take me. Well, it turned out to take me just a little over 20 minutes to uh, do this uh, drawing, as I would call it, of a strawberry. Now, if anybody presented something like this to you and said, oh, here's a sketch that I did of a strawberry, I would say, boy, I don't know if this is the right use of the word sketch, because it's I've spent quite a lot of time polishing, refining, getting rid of... Uh, you don't see the sketchy lines, you know, there's, uh, it's pretty much to me, this is where we uh, begin talking about a drawing rather than a sketch. But again, all of this is largely a matter of opinion. Let's go ahead and move on to the last one, which is uh, what I'm calling the illustration level 
Uh, but uh, Scott had called it the painting level. I guess it's kind of the same thing. But let's go ahead and uh, get into that part. All right, so I've mixed up a little red paint, and I'm going to just go ahead and jump in here and start laying the groundwork uh, of what I'm calling the illustration version of a uh, strawberry. Now, of course, the the drawing that you just saw over there to the left could uh, also be considered an illustration if it was illustrating, say, a black and white uh, cookbook or something like that. So, you know, these words get a little slippery. Illustration really uh, is related to illustrating a book. That's the world that I come from, really. And that's why uh, I thought I would use that. I mean, the word painting, as Scott referred to it, you know, traditionally refers to actual uh, paint. Of course, now we've entered the realm uh, or the age of digital painting, so that uh, certainly is, you know, a legitimate use of the word uh, painting, but um, for me, uh, all of these things are sort of words that uh, artists use in different ways, and so especially at this level, um, the difference between a, uh, a drawing and an illustration or a painting um, really becomes, starts to become a matter of opinion almost. Uh, I suppose drawing is going to keep us within the realm of pencils. Again, traditionally, so you could have a colored pencil drawing uh, that actually looks more detailed and more three-dimensional than a uh, a painting, you know, that's done in a more impressionistic way. So all of these words really um, start to overlap, and, uh, and anyone who tries to tell you, oh, this is, uh, you know... Uh, there's a hard and fast rule for how much time is uh, devoted for you. Know, like I was really kind of surprised that Scott was sort of like saying, "Well, this is how much time, the exact amount of time, almost, or a really tight range of the amount of time required." But he actually poked fun at himself at the end of his video, in which he was saying, "This is very scientific," and then he had the voice from off screen say, "No, he's lying. That's not so." Uh, cut and dried as that, uh, you know, we're within the realm of art. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick it into time lapse and spend, you know, we'll see how much time it takes me uh, to complete this uh, illustration version of the strawberry. All right, well, there is my uh, finished illustrated version of the strawberry, clocked in at about 38 minutes, almost uh, double the time uh, of what I used for doing this drawing of the strawberry. Let's refocus the camera so as to compare all four different versions. Okay, so there you see the four of them side by side. This is what I think a doodle looks like and a sketch, and a drawing, and an illustration, or a painting. Um, I really do think it's important to preserve the meaning of the word sketch and doodle in particular. Uh, people certainly have started throwing them around for much more polished, finished-looking illustrations, and it troubles me, quite frankly. But before I end this video, I want to say thank you to anyone who has supported me by getting any of my books, like The Realism Challenge. Th this one teaches you some of those techniques you saw in the illustration, whereas the two-pencil method might be more uh, for the drawing version. And, of course, there's Mastering Manga 1, 2, and 3, my books that show you how to draw in a manga style. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video, my friends. I think before I end it, I have to always lay down my pencil. <laughs> I want to thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back with another one real soon. Mm -hmm.